that woman? An old friend who has a habit of appearing exactly when she's needed. Thank Juno, she was here. Both Loco and Skyavala are very busy these days. I don't exactly know what's going on. Oh, he definitely must know. Uh, yeah, you must have some, yeah, seen something that gives you an idea what they're up to. I've seen a lot of merchants and galley captains passing in and out of the villa, but... Okay. It can't just be a new trade deal that's generating such commotion in the household. I fear they're planning something personal. Something big. Uh, where is Skyovala? I don't know. Disappeared a while ago. It makes mm. me nervous. Skyovala might be the elder brother, but Loco always creeps me out. He is smarter than he looks. Certainly smarter than my husband. I think he always did, but never cared much. Yeah. Something must have changed. But now they seem to be going into action, so they don't want you spying. Treating you well? <laughs> oh, yes. Surprisingly well still. Okay. Skyavala left a number of strange shipping manifests in the library. They are sending a lot of ships to Egypt. I have no idea why, but I may be able to retrieve the documents for you. No. I'll look into this myself, but not take any risks when we um until we know what they're after. I'll wait on your decision then. Wale brother. Okay. Oh, where you at, Julia? Did you say wine out garlic? Did I just mishear that? It's been a long time. Good to see you again. Rome hasn't felt the same way. Good to see you as well. I'm sorry I never came back to visit. Something always came up. I have received a message from the proconsul. He says you'll need me very soon. Hmm. Yeah, this cannot be a coincidence. The courier's appearance, the documents, uh, yeah. Just told us about and talk, yeah, now the colors. Dominus Lucullus, he would have sent a rider for you with all the instructions. Hmm. Then uh, find Bethy and Cassio and bring them to the villa. A reasonable precaution. We may soon need their assistance. Yep. You should go ahead. I get the feeling time is of the essence. I'm by myself I now. A thousand denarii for him. But you told I'm not. Me he wasn't very good at <laughs> the girls with me. He's being trained as an actor now. Apparently he. Mm. Then we should go and. Those guards there earlier? I don't know. Ah, uh, there's Mother Dear. It arrived just after noon. The rider insists on giving the message to you. It appears this man was instructed to meet you here as well. Talwe, what's going on? Hmm. Good to see you, old friend. Thank you for coming such short notice. Of course, my friend. The message, please. You must leave everything and come to Nazamones immediately. We're in grave danger. And I'm afraid in this case, we refers to both our family and Rome itself. Oh, cool. It seems we have underestimated Vitellius Loco. Although the little brother wields no political power of significance, he is the de facto leader of his family. An ambitious man who isn't reckless makes an enemy to be reckoned with. His friendly demeanor masks a molten core of vengeful desire. He still remembers how we dismantled their illegal operations in Asia. Mm. And I'm afraid he wants our lives in return. Oh, great. I have reason to believe Lurko is planning something big. My speculatories say he's preparing to remove me from my position in Nazamanes by force and make it look like a local uprising. If he succeeds, Rome is likely to lose control of the entire territory, giving Lurko the perfect excuse to challenge the current consuls. We cannot allow him to go ahead with this plan. I guess we're taking a trip then. Help. Reconstitute Legio Victrix. I know they are still loyal to you. Then sail for Nazamanes immediately. A battle ready army will be the last thing Lurko would expect. Where is Nazamanes? 
Know that the sun is brightest following the darkest day. See this as an opportunity. If we can turn the tables on Lurko, we can at last expose him for the crook he is. I await your arrival anxiously. Your Patronus and your dear friend, Lucius Lucinius Lucullus. I could These not names, man. So, but I've brought Bestia. Do not worry. I'm here, Cinerus. You're looking good, Bestia. You have recovered from our last fight. The injuries were not a problem. But I still owe the arena master for all the damages we caused. Who won? It was not settled. <laughs> they begged us to stop before we leveled the whole place. <laughs> nice. Uh, Lucullo's up to something. Yeah. Uh, the pro consul's life's in danger. Get ready. Yeah, get the legion ready. We sail in two days. We should leave as soon as possible. But... You're right, mate. I don't think I'll be able to leave Rome so easily. Is this about a woman again? In a way it is. Do you remember that seller who approached us at Marcellus with Sam? Indeed, indeed I do. What about her? Well, it turns out she was telling the truth. At least, partly. She has given birth to a baby girl. You become a father? That's wonderful. Thanks, I guess. Apparently, she tried to escape from Witsenius, who incidentally is her Dominus. The problem is, they're blaming me for it. Mm. Why would they blame you? She claims to be the mother of my child. Perhaps she is, or perhaps she just knows Witsenius and his people are naive enough to believe her. Did you help her? Of course I didn't. If I ever decide to help another man so escape, I will most certainly succeed. Generous, find a lawyer uh, and get this sorted. I'll pay for the expenses. Mm. This may take a few days, but I'm sure we can prove these allegations have no merit. Thank you, Nagate. I will now take care of our preparations. We leave as soon as possible. Be careful, child. Oh, is this going to delay me? I will make sure we return home safe and sound. Hopefully we can get this sorted in two days. Hmm. Do you need me? Oh. Who are you? Salute, travelers. Welcome to the villa of Lucullus of Africa Proconsularis. State your identity and intentions. Uh, Salve, Legionary. My name is Nonus Pitnia Panets. We have appearing as requested. Let us through and inform the proconsul of our arrival, please. My apologies for not recognizing you immediately. It's been a long day. The proconsul is currently preoccupied. Please wait in the courtyard while I relay the news of your arrival to him. Yeah, this is highly unusual. Step aside and let us pass immediately. All visitors are subject to our new security procedures. The proconsul specifically said there would be no exceptions. Please wait here. It shouldn't take long. Legate, a word. Yeah, I don't trust this. I don't think he recognized you. Hmm. I think the man's dumber than a dog. No, your point being? This doesn't smell right. Something's up. Like what? Little things. His armor is a bit too small for his body. He never called you by name. And did you notice how he failed to pronounce the proconsul's full name? It is said he who possesses a deceptive heart sees only deception in other people. No, hearts. I think she has a point. And it is known that women are deceptive by nature. Jesus. Wow. Yeah. And that is why you're old but still single, Cineros. Hmm. True. Well, to err on the side of caution is wise. Finally, some truth in the old man's words. We should kill them all. Jesus Christ. Well, well, that is not exactly what I was going to propose. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Of Killing everyone is the most cautious option. Jesus, stop. Sure you stop. Know the meaning of that word? So what if he's rude and his behavior is not proper? Obviously, he's not Roman. Yeah, uh, what do you think? Not really. If we will fight, I am ready. Yep. Um... Claudia, everyone hide your Pugios just in case, yep. If you wish. I don't think it's necessary, though. Don't trust it. Oh. 
I apologize for the delay. There have been some security related problems recently. We had to take precautions. What kind of problems? There was an attempt on his life recently. Nothing we can't handle, of course. Still, we're instructed to take all sorts of precautions. Relinquish your weapons here, please. No one's allowed to bear arms inside the villa. Of course. Are you not glad that you heeded my advice? Yeah. I smell a trap. Unfortunately, only two escorts are allowed beyond this point. So don't worry. I will take care of your friends while you're gone. Oh, yeah. Definitely a trap. A hundred percent. You're coming with me. We'll take the ladies. Jen, stay down here and take care of things. Mm-hmm. Wait, do we not have weapons? What? I'm confused. Uh, anyway. Hmm. Nice one. Coming with us. Oh, there's an archer out there. Uh, get in his face. Oh, I just noticed him. No, this is gonna hurt. Oh, hang on. Cheap shots. Smack him in the mouth. Don't mess with the old timer. I'll mess you up. Tackle him. Yeah, on the ground. Ah. Oh. Good. He tried to move. He didn't try to move. He definitely did move. Oh, no. Weaver. How many of you are there? Okay, running out there may have been a mistake. I may, I mean, it was a mistake. Mm hmm. Go finish this guy off. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, can folks attack opportunity. Uh Oh no, this is bad. Mm. Prevent an attack opportunity. Oh. 
gosh. Yes, got him. Okay. Oh, oh, you're just going for the random dude there. Okay. That's fine by me. Ah, oh, poor random. This bleed's kind of intense. Hmm. May I request some help, please? It's all right. You're going to live. Yeah, we can't get in. Hmm. How did he fall? What? Double knockdown. Uh, can you do anything? Distracting. Now run! Uh, put him or her here. Hopefully that'll stop him from getting forward. I don't know. Okay, went for her instead. Good, good, good. That's fine. Mm -mm. Bring a shield. Yes, then double damage against knockdown targets. Boom, get out of here. Oh, not even close. What in the name of Jupiter is going on here? Egyptians, Dominic. They came out of nowhere. Yeah, well, where's the colors? He locked himself into the study. They've killed everyone. The Serwi are imprisoned in the cellar. Uh, get the Serwi out of here and find, uh, I'll find the proconsul. Take the key. Mm -mm. Uh, loot this real quick. Do I have any weapons? Uh, where's my pike? Boom. No, that's a spear. Pike. Good spear. Frick. Hello? Put my armor on. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that here. I guess I am, since it's giving me technical permission. Mm -mm. Uh, you can have the. Where's the new fancy shield I just got? There we go. Boom. And no, that's a dagger. There's Achilles' sword. All time history stuff. Hmm. It's an ugly ass helmet, but I'll take it. It's your armor. Good spear. Uh, dagger.
Mm-mm. There's thine bow, there we go. What are you doing, cat? Would you stop? There's nothing you can see out of that window. Oh, is that Lucullus? You retreat. What color do you want, man? The top, the blues or oranges? Blue, gotcha. I need a strident. Is that a pike? Mm -mm -mm. Is a pike. Uh, pretty good pike, to be honest with you. There you go, my dear. Hey, thank you for your contribution to the service. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with that one. My feet just walking around. Lucullus! By the gods! I'm sorry, Domine. Yeah. Right. Well, Lucullus is dead. Everybody's got level ups. Um, Thunder, yes. Mm -mm -mm. That one. Oh yes, steady hands. That's that's sexy one. Domine. Oh, we already know who's behind all this. There's no point in asking that. Hmm? Blank stairs worries me. I think uh, you should get some rest. I'm not tired. I'm just angry. Very angry. Hmm. I, yeah, I don't need you angry. I need your fo I need you focused. I am focused as well. Hmm. Who do you think is behind us? Who murdered Lucullus? I think these are two separate questions. It is clear these killers were Egyptian. They took no care to obscure their identities. Their weapons are just lying around, and the murder weapon is clearly Egyptian. Yeah, this is the Star Wars with Egypt. The thing here is a graffito saying Egyptians killed Lucullus. All right, be well. It will be. Eventually. Vinegar bandage. Okay. Domine. Hmm. How did these people get into the villa? They were dressed like Rome and Legionare. We had no reason to suspect them. They're all Egyptians. What at least a bit suspicious to you? Not at all. The, the Legion has people from all over the world. Wasn't the proconsul guard the whole time? He was. It, it really happened too fast. All of a sudden, the legionaries started stabbing each other. We didn't know what to do. By the time I realized what was happening, it was already too late. Hmm. How do I know if you're not working for them? After all, you were running around with it when everyone else was locked up and you had the keys. But, but I'm not. The, the keys? Also, we have the keys. I swear, I'm not working for them. I, I don't know why they kept me outside. Hmm. I have no reason to believe you. You'll live, but only for a moment. Thank you, Domine. Hmm. Legate, a rider arrived. 
She wants to talk to Proconsul Lucius Licinius Lucullus. She says his life might be in danger. Yeah, good warning. Tell her she's a bit late. Thank you, I'll still work, I'll still work once. Now that is an interesting development. Yeah. Be careful around these Berbers. You cannot trust the barbarians. Who are you? You look kind of cool. Said he requires the proconsul's personal signature. Although you are not the proconsul from Rome. I was instructed to speak only to him. It is a matter of life and death. Hmm. That might be quite, it proved quite difficult in a challenge unless you possessed the unique skills talking to the dead. What does that mean? Explain yourself, Roman. It means you're too late. Hmm. Yeah, Proconus uh, Lucullus has passed away. Yeah, recently passed away. I'm Lectus Nosius Pinus Wheeler, acting proconsul in his stead. Who am I addressing? I see. That is unfortunate. I am called Lunia the Golden Wolf of the land of Nazamones, sent by Her Majesty Cleopatra Philopatora Thea Philopatora, daughter of Dionysos Philopato Philadelphos. The Queen intended to warn the proconsul against the possibility of an assassination, but it seems I was in need of a faster horse. Hmm. Given the situation, I have quite a lot of questions to ask here, Patra. How can we, um, how can we meet? Of course. That would indeed be the best course of action. Except there's a minor complication you need to resolve first. Why do I feel like it's not going to be so minor? Catch. Cleopatra doesn't exactly see eye to eye with Ptolemy. her mother. Yeah. The pharaoh, Ptolemy Theos Philopator, has exiled her from Egypt. She has been taken by caravan through the desert to a distant palace where she will be imprisoned. She offers to reveal the identity of the murderer to you, if you will free her. Hmm. Mm. Very well. We'll keep you here as a guest, just in case your mistress suffers an unexpected loss of memory. Oh, I accept her offer and expect uh, her to keep in mind the end, yeah, her in the bargain. A queen does not lie. Uh, bullshit. But yeah. Thank you for saving us, Domine. Yeah, no problem. Any more loot? Doesn't seem to be. Right, well. I feel like that's a perfect place for us to stop for this evening. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. If you missed out on anything would like to catch up, feel free to go to my YouTube. Everything I do gets uploaded onto there as quickly as I possibly can. Um, yeah, I was going to play some, um, Dice and Sphere. I may come back later tonight. I don't think so. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to end it there. I'm going to see if there's someone I can sing you boys and girls on to and give a little bit of love to. Uh, sadly, it appears I'm still having internet issues. Yay. So I'm going to have to give them another call in the morning, which is going to be great. I'm looking forward to that. At some point, I might be able to get this all fixed. Let's see if there's anybody I know that's live. Mm -mm -mm. Sure, I'm going to send you guys over to Ravison. He's currently playing some Dragon Age 2, so if that's something you enjoy, feel free to come along. It's a great game, and he is a pretty good guy. So yeah, back tomorrow. Until then, take care, love your faces, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.